What's going on everyone? So this is my review for the report, which I thought I was going to see in theaters, but apparently it's not going to be in theaters near me and they just decided to drop it on Amazon Prime. I'm glad I was able to see it, but at the same time, I do wish it reached theaters near me. Now that I got that out of the way, The Report is a film that stars Adam Driver, Annette Bening, John Hamm, Ted Levin. And this is a story, for those of you that don't know, it's about Daniel J. Jones' investigation into the CIA's uh, post-9-11 detention interrogation program. Going to this movie, I was very much so excited for it. Very much so excited for it because I always love these procedural type movies, especially when it's dealing with history. And I honestly thought that this would be a movie that would be a good companion piece to Zero Dark Thirty. Uh, boy, was I wrong. I'll get to that in a little bit. But first, I just want to say that this movie is filled to the brim with neat performances. Everyone in this movie gives it their all. Like, there's not one performance where it's like they're phoning it in. They all are giving it their all. You can tell that they are very much so invested in these performances and roles. And I really appreciate that. Also, I really enjoyed the way it was shot. It's not fancy or anything, but I think that it was very well filmed in terms of both the color palette, the lighting, and just the overall shot composition. I think it was very effective. Um, I also like the writing. Certain scenes were very effective at garnering drama. And I think that's very important with a movie like this. Um, I also liked how this movie did like a lot of fact checking, like it did seem pretty accurate for what it was going for and I liked that. And also, I feel like with based on true story movies, what they should do is inform. And not only inform, but make you go away with something that you didn't know before. And this movie did that. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to lie when I mentioned Zero Dark Thirty. This movie almost contradicts, and I don't want to say completely because I do need to rewatch Zero Dark Thirty. But I remember when I first saw Zero Dark Thirty, I almost thought the movie was pro-torture. Then I rewatched and I realized it wasn't. But I also want to rewatch to make sure that I, I had the correct assessment that it wasn't. But I am curious because the report takes place after Zero Dark Thirty, the film, came out. So I'm very curious to see if Zero Dark Thirty was skeptical on the approach of torture. And that's just it. The messages of this movie are very important. I think with what it has to say about just accountability... Uh, torture, government control. I think it says a lot about those topics that are very important. Scott C. Burns directs this movie very well in terms of developing those messages in a fleshed out way that is both engaging and also informative. That's important in terms of a movie based on a true story because as I said earlier, you want to leave a movie like this leaving knowing more than you came out with. I mean, started with, I should say. And that's a movie that this is. Unfortunately, this movie isn't great. I thought it was going to be for a while, but I thought this movie was honestly kind of disjointed. And I did think that it kind of left, I don't know, like it lost a little bit of steam as it progressed. It definitely started out strong, but I think that just as the movie progressed, it kind of got less and less engaging. And I'm all about the whole procedural aspect of movies like this, but I just kind of feel like as the movie went on, it kind of didn't gain, garner as much interest as me. So I have criticisms with the length and then also obviously the pacing, but those criticisms aside, I mean, I know a lot of people are going to watch this and they're going to be blown away. I personally, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I'm more in the middle. I respect it. I appreciate with what it was going for. And I do also think that this is a movie that I'm glad I saw it because I said in my letterbox review, and I'll say it again. Uh, it's a movie that makes me want to rewatch Zero Dark Thirty, which I own on Blu-ray. So I'll be doing that probably very soon because of this movie. And the report for me personally, I'll be giving a 3.25 out of 5 star rating, which for those like a hot sauce rating, it's the good old Frank's Red Hot Sauce rating. It's passable. It's slightly above passable. And uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. I'd give it a light recommendation. Uh, but guys, the report, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And what's your favorite movie about the CIA? Comment section down below. And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.